you're in my world now. Welcome back to my family and friends realm. So basically, oh, F1, what I've got going on is I'm smelting up a lot of sand for a lot of glass because I've been going through a lot of glass and I know I'm going to need a lot more for this project that I'm working on. It's actually something I've been working on kind of uh, off camera between episodes in my spare time, but we're going to go and take care of part of that now. And that project, well, it's our nether tunnel. Now, this episode has a couple of firsts. Whoop. Come on. Okay, steering boats. Gotta work on that. So yeah, this episode has a couple of firsts. It's the first episode I'm recording from my new standing setup of a computer. And it's also going to be the first episode that I tried to record somewhat quickly. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I got this part done. Ugh, nice and secure still, but I know that's not going to be the case further ahead, and this is why I need all the glass. I brought some, but not enough. So, this is going to be the first episode that I tried to record in kind of a more concise manner than previously. Basically, what I'm looking to do is to be able to record... I am running, right? Yeah, it just doesn't feel like it. I'm trying to be able to record and get the episodes recorded and edited and uploaded in a much more timely manner. And where I have far less that I have to decide if I'm going to cut or not. So I don't quite know how long this episode is going to be. I just know that it is going to be recorded in a much more streamlined manner than normal. And uh, if you haven't noticed, I've decided that I'm going to... I, I love playing with view bobbing, but I've given it quite a bit of thought. Ah, here comes the uh, dangerous area. We'll have to watch out for gas to try to blow our stuff up. What I've decided is that for the viewers who get motion sickness that want to check out my videos, they're not going to be forced to decide between motion sickness and, well, not watching it at all. So uh, I'll just turn view bobbing off for the time being and uh, kind of get y'all's feedback on what y'all think. Should I keep it off or should I eventually turn it back on? Ah, here we go, the very end. So yeah, not much more to go. I've already done quite a bit, but I didn't quite line this up perfectly. In any case, I intend to tear it down and expand it and move it, and yeah, uh, it's going to be interesting. Uh, let's actually start by taking out the portal. That way, none of these blocks go flying through. And I gotta keep an eye out for ghasts. Now, and I can hear one, but I cannot see it. So, what I'm aiming to do with this is basically realign it so that it, it lines up with the, right with the path because this is going to be the end stop for it this portal is roughly equidistant between an ice plains spikes and the mesa and I know I need to take out a few of these I can leave some of them I definitely brought more than enough so we're going to tear it down and I'm actually going to make it as wide as the uh, the tunnel's maximum width so yeah take out those two and boop 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 and we build up the walls there 
Oh, I actually want to take that up one higher. And I don't know why I built that. Oh, yeah, I do need that corner. It's this one that I don't need. So let me quickly tear this out. There we go. Now I need to figure out kind of the rough dimensions that I'm going for for the, the actual building. I've already got that decided. I just now have to dig it out. Oh, and I've also lowered the, the view distance back down to normal. I've been playing at uh, 95-ish view distance. I had no, I have no problems with it, but I mean, again, that's another one of those things where it's just some people might not like such a uh, view distance. So we'll we'll trim that back too. Let me get some of the base framing laid out for this and figure out the exact size I need and I will be right back with you. So I've got the basic framework laid out. Uh, I definitely will need to keep going back for some more of this, but great way to store a bunch of it. I actually dug out all of this because among other things, I need to finish building the path up to the building. Only reason I hadn't done that yet is because I had to figure out exactly how the building was going to go. I'm thinking three deep on either end. That should be plenty fine. But, uh, yeah, right now I'm just laying out the rest of this outer path. Boom. And, oh, yes, this. Packed ice will go in here, so this is the actual floor level. In here, I'm going to use glass, so that it's not a slippery surface with the boat. And I don't have to worry so much about spawning spaces as I do elsewhere. Uh, let's see, I believe, oops, if I can avoid falling, that one, two, three, and we have a corner here. And, oh, I need to do this. There we go. And that actually is going to help me determine the exact layout of this part. Because what I've got going across here... I hate it when I suddenly hear a gasp when I hadn't been hearing one. I have no clue where he's at. Uh, okay. That and one there. Now I need to do the same thing on the back side of it. Two, three, four. Out and up. One, two, three, four. Out and up. And yeah, I need more. Yeah, we'll just do that and pick that back up. There we go. So now we've got that, but part of my design, this is going to kind of be window sections, and I'm just mirroring both sides. Since this is the tunnel, I figured that's the best way to bring it in. So at this point, I think about... Oh, nope. There is still one more thing. I'm actually going off of the screenshot I took of having built this in creative. There we go. So this, these lines here, are the end of all the bricks. <laughs> I actually didn't need to grab quite that many. Uh, huh. Well, next up will be to place the glass. And I think I want to place the glass on top first. So, I'll just ladder up here, and 
Look out for casts. All right. Got the glass coming across this like so. Oops. Good thing I have my silk touch pick on me at all times. There we go. And that's the extent of this upper section of glass. I know gas would be able to spawn on top of the tunnel itself. Like right on these blocks here, but I'm not worried about this because it's going to be outside the tunnel. And I've got quite a bit of quartz I can mine up in the area and glowstone. Yeah, that's a, that's something about the, my realms. There's a lot of that stuff that no one's bothered to mine up. Let me take these ladders back out since I don't need them. And fill in these. I'm actually content to fill these in from the lower spot here. And then fill the floor in. There we go. Because by doing it this way, I feel like that's less likely I'm going to get shot at by a ghast. Alright, and this tunnel stays open, so that area I'm currently a little bit worried about. Come on, just a few more. Kind of antsy to get this portal lit. Just no one's on right now, but should someone log on and they happen to be over in... That's exactly two stacks of glass. Unfortunately, that's not all of it. I've got glass coming in across here as well to kind of give more of a curved slope and maximize every block being not being at a diagonal like uh, well, basically like this I don't like diagonals like that if I can help it in the nether particularly I just feel like it's still it, it's still weak and I definitely did not want any of this exposed to the outside so a gas can't accidentally blast it and shut it off. I don't need that, so we will light it up. And well, let me show you the other side of it so that we can get out of the nether for a minute. A couple of boats there. That thing is loud. Got some torches sitting around here to keep this little platform lit. I built this, put this away from the uh, the train over there. That way, there's a little bit of a buffer zone, although not much before you get to that. And it's a bit of a snowy day. But yeah, the uh, Ice Plane Spikes is somewhere in that direction, and the Mesa is in that direction. I have no trouble getting from A to B, so I don't mind it being in the middle of nowhere. It saves on portal construction. Uh, let's see, from here out would be packed ice, but... I have to finish this part as well. And... Very, very, uh, nervous about having it the exposed sides like this where gas can shoot. I know they can fly up and start shooting at me, but I'm a, I'm actually more concerned with that. Like, I guess I'm not really too concerned with that, but I'm more concerned with them seeing me as I walk along, because from down here, I can build the entirety of the tunnel in virtual safety. Unfortunately, like I said, I don't have near enough glass to actually completely complete the tunnel. Not yet. I have to get more ink sacks, grab some more, more of my bone meal stash, and grab some of the glass that I've been smelting, and then we can kind of finish this. Oops. Oop. 
Once this tunnel gets completely encased and the ice path, it's going to be a very quick way to get to the mesa. And more importantly, it's going to be a, uh, a safe way to get to the mesa. Now, if someone wants to actually set up a portal directly to the mesa... Oh, no. I placed it there. Got it. And there. Okay. If someone wants to actually go and set up a portal to the mesa, go for it. And just uh, let me know if you want an exit from my tunnel, and I'll do that. But otherwise, I mean, there's still a torch trail that leads out here in the first place. Nice, safe little room. And we got this. So, yeah. That's basically all i got left to do is the glass walls and the packed ice. I think I have plenty of packed ice for this. It's just the glass, like I said, is the kind of low qu quantity item that I have to keep going back for. In any event, uh, let me get the glass up and then we will... Uh, wrap up with the uh, the packed ice and a full a full trip from one end to the other. I really should light up more around my base. They're that close. Eh, whatever. This is, by the way, the most efficient way to do this. Boom and boom. Because bones, if you have a skeleton farm, are super abundant. Ink is less so. And I actually only grabbed two-thirds of what I needed in bone meal. Oh, wait. I just grab it from up here. Keep forgetting about that. And boom. So, we've got ourselves quite the stash of light gray dye. I need to finish crafting up some glass. Almost two stacks worth of dye. I hope that ends up being enough glass. Otherwise, I need to go get some ink. Some uh, squid ink. So, let me get this done. See where we come out. And, uh, well, let me go finish laying out the glass. And this is the home stretch of block placing. So I found this to be quite the easiest way to do it. Quite the easiest way, really. But, uh, yeah, so my tunnel design has been very, very basic. It's either solid stone brick through where there's netherrack immediately opposite, because glass would just not look that great. Or, well, obvious glass through the opening. So I get to look out upon the nether as I speed by or cut through these uh, little sections here. And this is a complete U-shape the whole way so that I have no risk of somehow having a gas blow up the packed ice. I also made this one too tall, but it's fine. This is fine. That is perfectly okay. I can have the portal being this tall, and yeah, it'll help for riding horses or whatnot through. But I'm guessing that the cord, the link up coordinate is towards this end because the portal used to be set over here, and that's what I was supposed to line it up to, but I derped. Anyway, this is the final stretch of packed ice. Just check my inventory. I know I managed to have just enough. But, uh, yeah. So basically, I had every single open slot full of packed ice. Yeah, that's all I've got left to finish this. And like I said, well, I actually, I probably cut that clip. So, like I said, but cut. And I'm saying again, the uh, amount of glass that I had, stained glass, even for the dye that I had, was not enough. I went through twice what the, I had gone through for that. It's kind of ridiculous. But now, if I want to go to the Mesa, which I'm going to start doing so I can start getting hardened 
in stained clay, finally. I just have to take a boat. So on this boat ride back, yeah, I'd like your feedback on this new style. There had better not be a hostile mob in my path, but I fully expect at some point there will be. But yes, uh, the new style definitely would appreciate feedback. And, you know, I got this done pretty quickly today. Slip right by that guy. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm actually pretty happy with this. And, yeah, thank y'all for watching. Oop, always get caught on something there. Don't forget to check the description below. And God bless.